All right, JD, I gotta believe you feel like a kid on Christmas Day, you've opened the gift, and now it's time to share it with everybody. Is that an appropriate analogy, or how are you feeling? Yeah, we've built a phenomenal stadium for the community of San Diego. There are gonna be so many different you know, pieces that mm -hmm. people are gonna be able to look at and say, hey, yeah, no, that's really cool. Tell us about the fan experience, and how will it be different from the 60-year-old stadium that used to be here? Well, one, the stadium is much more intimate. Over probably 80% of the seats sit inside what was the plaza section in the old stadium. Okay. So that low level mm -hmm. rise, first level, uh, a lot of social areas where people can go and hang out and uh, a lot of different premium experiences for people um, to check out. But the piers uh, is gonna be awesome as you think yep. about you know our, our coastal culture and you know piers going out into the ocean. Well, we have a pier going out into the uh, the City Bowl so you can watch the football game. And, yeah. you know, so a lot of different areas where people can connect to. I stood on that pier just a few minutes ago and you're out there overlooking, not quite on top of the field, but it's a different perspective. It is definitely a different perspective. I don't know, it, it sways a little bit too. <laughs> so. I that didn't experience be that. Interesting. Uh -huh. um, we, we've du we've double and triple checked that. This way is okay. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, I mean that's going to be a different. It's it's unique to any stadium in the country. Great food partners. I think we have 13 different local food partners. Uh, we've got great local craft beer in the building as well. So there, there's really going to be something for everybody to to find in the building. I'm a burger guy. I understand there's a Hodads. There will be a Hodads in the <laughs> building, so we're really excited about that. Okay. You also mentioned there's some remnants of the old stadium. What are the, some of those highlights? Jack Murphy statue is going to be back for those that walked off the trolley to the old stadium. Jack Murphy and his dog. Yeah, uh, it's a good one. Abe, I saw the other night was his name. That mm -hmm. will be um, at the stadium. Uh, we've got a paver area in the northeast corner of the building. The pavers are actually chunks of the old stadium. Okay. Uh, we've got some stuff that for the Padres, some stuff that actually goes back to the Chargers. Oh. Um, you know, different little, we're calling them Easter eggs for people to find that came out of the old stadium is we pay homage to what was, you know, a phenomenal building for the, for the city of San Diego and now we're ready for Snapdragon Stadium and Basher Field and mm -hmm. all that it is to serve, you know, the next hopefully 100 years for the city of San Diego. Let me ask you how this helps recruiting, and I know it helps recruiting for football, that's obvious. Does it also help recruiting for the other sports, a women's volleyball player or a lacrosse player? Uh, it's definitely a revenue stream that our athletic department has not seen before, so mm -hmm. that revenue won't just help football, that revenue is going to go to the bottom line of every one of our sports and help us uh, with the student athlete experience for everyone. This is something that, you know, everybody in the community is going to be able to, um, to benefit from and I'm excited that the stadium is the first piece of it. Awesome. Well, congratulations on all of this, and uh, we look forward to seeing that first game. I appreciate it very much. We're, uh, we're excited to go Aztecs. Sweet.